One of the biggest complaints about the M1 MacBook Air or Pro is the lack of ports. It has two USB-C ports. Well, I will argue that it's not as big of a deal as people make it out to be. There are docks, there are dongles, but most people use it with just the power cord plugged in and you, you know, mostly just use it by itself. But the other limitation is the lack of or how many displays you can attach to it. And this is more of a limitation of the M1 chip itself. Natively, you can only hook up one external monitor. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can hook up more than one monitor to an M1 MacBook Air or Pro. Let's get into it. So many of us are working from home now, and even though most of us have laptops, we still use external monitors for our productivity. Now, ever since the M1 Macs have been released, I've been enjoying the performance of them. And recently I picked up an M1 MacBook Air, but I ran into an issue at this latest hybrid event that I was running. I ran into the issue of only being able to hook up one monitor. My name is Patrick, and this is Everyday Tech, everyday tech for everyday people. And in this channel, I do tech reviews or tech related videos. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can hook up more than one monitor to an Apple laptop, M1 laptop. And in this case, my MacBook Air. But this also applies to the MacBook Pro. Okay, here's the scenario here. I have my M1 MacBook Air hooked up to a 15.6 portable USB-C monitor. Now, review coming soon on this one. But this is how our base setup will be. And our goal here is to hook up a third monitor here. So I'm gonna show you different ways depending on the scenario that you wanna do. Now the easiest way to get a third monitor with your M1 MacBook Air or Pro setup is using an iPad. Now I'll put the specs of what iPad you'll need right here. But if you bought an iPad in the last couple of years, you should be good to go. It uses the technology called Sidecar and it, you can use it wirelessly or wired in. I prefer usually wired in because it, you know, there's less chance of it disconnecting, but you can use any generation really iPad in the last couple of years. And I think it's even worth buying an for entry level iPad if you don't have an iPad at all, just for that third monitor. Uh, and also you get a nice tablet too as well. But in my case, I'm using my uh, 11 inch iPad Pro here. This happens to be the M1 version of it, but any iPad Pro will work, it's supported. And all you need to do is turn it on in uh, Mac OS and you'll have instantly a third monitor. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna uh, enable Sidecar and you'll see that I have a third monitor here. Okay, so now I've turned on Sidecar. I have my M1 MacBook Air here. I have my 15 inch portable monitor here and I have my iPad here. So now I have a third monitor here. So one of the nice benefits of having a sidecar is that I can mirror screens as well. So as it relates to my hybrid event, basically what it meant to be hybrid is I had some in-person people and then you had a bunch of people on Zoom. So I wanted to show the in-person people, the people on Zoom, and so we did that by displaying it on a TV. But because of the way I was, our setup was situated, I couldn't see the TV screen. So what I had to do is I had to mirror my MacBook Air screen to the TV, but I didn't have an extra desktop space to do other things on the side. So what, it, what would have been nice is if I use my display here, my uh, using sidecar, I can mirror this display to this external display right here, which represents that TV in that hybrid event. So let me go ahead and just do the mirroring right now and I'll show you what I mean here. Okay, so now I've changed this to mirroring my external display here. So this kind of fulfills that hybrid solution. This represents the TV. So now I have a mirror of what's on the TV on my iPad Pro here. And then I can do other things behind the scenes on my MacBook Air without everyone seeing. So this is the kind of, that fulfills that kind of mirroring solution, having two monitors, uh, one monitor is my laptop, and then these two displays are mirroring each other. Now there is another solution to doing this kind of mirrored solution if you don't have an iPad. So if you have a, let's say you have an external monitor, but you just want to display that or mirror that onto another monitor, you can use a hardware device uh, such as this HDMI splitter. This is the Orai 1 
times two HDMI splitter, meaning it takes one signal and it displays it out to two different displays. So in this scenario, I have my MacBook Air into the input here, and I'm gonna display two different outputs here at the same time. So I'm gonna, we're gonna do my external monitor here, which I do have an HDMI cable here, and we're gonna plug this guy in, and you should start seeing that monitor to point up. And yep, it powered up, see? So now I have two different displays, but now I have another external monitor here that I'm gonna show you here. And this is the 13 inch U-Perfect uh, USB-C monitor. And I did do a review on this. This is an awesome monitor. Uh, please check out that review. But I'm also gonna hook that up as a mirror to display or mirror this screen as well. So I'm gonna hook up the HDMI cable into this one. And then I'm also gonna put in the power to this one, and we will have a mirror display after this turns on here. And there we go. I have a mirror display. So this, this monitor here and this monitor here is mirrored. And that does take care or fulfill that solution that I needed for my hybrid event. So let's say you really want that multi-monitor setup. You've already had the displays and you don't have an iPad or you don't want to use your iPad as an external display. Well, there's a solution for you. It's DisplayLink. Now DisplayLink is a software solution that uses a dongle or uses ethernet or Wi-Fi to drive another display. Now this is a USB to HDMI converter uh, display link converter and I got this when I had my old years ago my old MacBook Air and that th that computer only had one mini display port and I was able to drive one 24 inch monitor but I had two 24 inch monitors so I used the display link dongle here and it worked but the only problem was that processor couldn't keep up with the drivers on there. So there was a noticeable lag on that monitor itself. So I thought to myself after this last hybrid event that I had, I'm wondering if my old, if the display link uh, drivers and dongle is a lot better on the M1 Max. And I would say definitely yes. So I'm going to hook this up to this other external monitor and I'm going to show you that I have truly two different displays. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into my MacBook Air. I have a USB-A to USB-C adapter here. And the third monitor, or the second external display, should show up here and on here. And there it comes up. So now I really have two external displays. I have a triple monitor set up with my MacBook Air being the first main display. And so this is one great solution to do it. Now there are docks that you can buy with the display link technology built in. So that's why it can uh, support multiple displays for your Mac M1 MacBook Air or Pro. So you can, that's a great solution if you just want a one plug solution, uh, one dock with one plug solution into your MacBook Air or MacBook Pro. So there's just a few ways to hook up multiple monitors to uh, M1 MacBook Air or MacBook Pro. Now, of course, my other computer here is a Mac Mini, which already supports two displays because it has a built-in HDMI port. But if I wanted to do a third display or even a fourth display, I could follow one of these methods. And of course, Apple's gonna release their M1X chip or M2 chip uh, pretty soon. And I'll, that'll probably support more than one display natively. But if you want to go even more than what Apple offers, even in the future, you can use one of these methods as well. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and consider subscribing. Until the next one, see ya.